Hey Wampus and welcome back to another creation video. In this one I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on creating the looks of ice as well as a human sculpture. So right now we have a new build together where you can create your own ice sculpture that we will then put into a museum scene where the community's work will be presented. And yeah, it's really cool, feel free to take part and let's dive into the video. So now I'll be showing you how to create the looks of ice. First off, really important is obviously the color. I recommend to go for the bluish tones, but very much in the white direction, almost white, but just a bit of blue. And then the next step is to, to bring up that glass slider in the materials panel. I also bring up translucency just so the light can come through more, which makes it look a bit more like ice. And I also still make it a bit more white. The next important part is to change the global image because that's what's reflected in your eyes. And here I can really recommend to go with the top right one which is like this frosty snowy kind of environment because that really gives you the reflection of ice and snow being around you which really helps the look of course. I also recommend to play around a lot with the exposure of the global image that is how strong and bright your light or your image is reflected in the eyes. Backdrop can also help to give more atmosphere or more, you know, the kind of looks because it's also reflected a little bit, the surrounding. And another thing that you can do is to make it whole, that creates a different kind of interesting look. And the last detail that I can also recommend you guys is to add some little details like droplets um, around the eyes. That's what you often see when you look at eyes, it's like almost a bit melty, just, you know, the frozen water around it is just some droplets and yeah, can make some nice little details like this to give it even more of that look. So now that we know how to create the looks of ice, let's come to the actual sculpture. I decided to go for a more classic eye sculpture approach, so this will also be a bit of a lesson on how to create the human body, but you can of course create anything. We have already seen an incredible ice dragon sculpture, an ice hot air balloon, and yeah, just put your own ideas or creativity into it. It's very easy to transform anything into an ice sculpture really. So creating the human body is actually a really hard task. It's fairly complex and we realize subconsciously very easily when the things are off just because we are seeing it all the time. But here as well, it's super important not to focus on all the details and small things, but rather think in bigger shapes. Break the body down into boxes, cylinders and spheres. So I just roughly start laying down the legs using curves here I already try to create the change in the shapes, for example how the calf is sticking out a bit more. It's quite easy to do thanks to the scaling um, of the individual curve points as well. Then for the main body I copy the curves of our leg and keep the point that is closest to the hip and delete the others. This speeds up the workflow. And for this, I use a cube base curve and, and use roundness on it as well as stretching it down a little bit. You can simply exchange the primitive of the curve on the top right in the properties menu of the curve. Since you can rotate the individual curve points, it makes it very easy for me to give the body a natural rotation for this pose that I'm going for. I then also continued the same way for the arms, neck, as well as a basic shape for the head. After some adjustments to lengths, which I kept doing during my process, I started creating the feet and the way I did that was with two rounded cube base curves, one for the lower part of the foot and one for the upper part. It's mainly about rotation, scaling and yeah, just using the individual points to create that kind of shape. It's really important also to use references here, you can even use your own body as a reference. I then started adding individual spheres, grouping them into the already existing body, basically to connect the body parts together or to give her some curves as well. Next it was time for the hat. 
I started setting up the base with curves and then added some negative cuts with cubes to get the shape right. I then continued on adding face features using simple spheres, cylinders, always with the mirror on. You can activate the mirror and also blend it on the right in the primitive properties menu. I then created some hair as well. For that, a tip that I can give you is to make one strand of hair using rounded cube based curves around the head and then copy and rotate this curve. It works really well, speeds up the process and I think it looks quite nice as well. It was then time to add it to our body, so I rotated it into place and deleted the base hat which I made before. And then it was time for the last missing pieces, the worst enemy, hands. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's 2D or 3D, hands are the nemesis. But I tried to simplify it. First you make a rounded box that's the base of the hand. The thumb is almost still connected to the wrist, coming out in almost a 45 degrees angle. And for the rest of the fingers I just used a 3 point curve that I copied and changed direction and sizes a little bit. I also only made 4 fingers which is a common thing in animation or stylization or for elves. In general the whole figure is quite stylized which I personally just like a lot more but it also fits very well with the icy look in the end. I also exchanged the base of the breast which was just spheres with curves which made it look a bit more natural I think. And lastly it was time to finally give it a lovely ice material, change the backdrop, work with global lighting and individual lights. Basically what I've shown you in the beginning of this video. So here's a look at the final render. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new or got inspired to create something yourself. And with that, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.